Before you can change your Wi-Fi network name and password, you'll need to log into the router. The hardware that connects the internet to your devices could be a modem router combination, sometimes called a gateway, or a separate modem and router that connect together. Look at the hardware and you may find a tag that contains the default access information for your router. The default Wi-Fi network name, also sometimes called SSID, and the password may also be found. With the router powered up and finished the booting up, connect your device to the internet using an ethernet cable. Or connect to the Wi-Fi network name for your router. If the Wi-Fi network name has not been changed, it will be the default name printed on the router. You may notice that there are two network names that are similar. Connect to either one. Open an internet browser and enter the default access for your router. If the default access is not on the router, press and hold the Windows key and then press the R key. Enter CMD into the box and click OK. A pop-up box will appear. Enter ipconfig and then push the Enter key. The default router access is the same as the default gateway. Enter it into the browser. Click the X to close the command line. Now that everyone knows their default access and it's entered into the browser, press the Enter key and a login box for the router pops up. If you have changed the password, enter it or use the defaults printed on the router label. Then click Sign In. After the interface for your router opens, look for a wireless or Wi-Fi option and click on it. If you rent your router from your internet service provider, you likely will not be able to access the router directly. Log into your internet provider's website. If the wireless Wi-Fi option is selected, look for a box that says SSID or name. It will contain the current name of your Wi-Fi network. There will also be a box for the current password. My router has a second network where I can change its name and password. If you've made your changes, look for an apply, OK, or save button on the page and click on it. If you are connected by wireless, the connection will drop out and you need to sign in with your new network name and password. I hope you find this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.